Hello, everybody. This is Hedda Hopper reporting to you from Hollywood, that fabulous place where everyone wants to live but seldom does. Are That's you a Hollywood a columnist? Yes. yes. Have you also broadcast? Yes. <laughs> oh, what a spot to be in. There are two of them in town. <laughs> <laughs> we had one of them on already. Which one? We, we got Hedda Hopper. Must be are Luella, Luella Parsons? Parsons? Luella Parsons, <laughs> right. Title, Pity If You Can. Original composition by Theo Jamieson. Lyric by Noel Coward. Original interpretation by the magical Marilyn Cutts. Dramatic scenario. In olden times, before tweets and blogs, there were Luella Parsons listening through smoke rings, celebrating celebrity supreme and the art of rapid demise. Did you ever suffer at the hands of the old crocs, lolly and head and... The old uh, gossip yeah. columnist. Yeah. Yes, but I'll tell you, I had, I had a, a procedure about all that kind of thing. It was purely business, uh, never, uh, never social, never came to my home, any, any Hollywood columnist. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had some very rough times. Yes, I had some very rough times, particularly with Luella. Yeah. Very rough. But she was probably one of the greatest newspaper women that will ever be. Let's hand it to her. A she, oh, woman. she was a pro mm -hmm. newspaper woman. Nothing would stop her from getting a story if she possibly could. <laughs> well, that was her business, wasn't it? And uh, the results we, we were a little we sad in some cases. To well, the victims. Yeah, yes, but um, people obviously answered her. Yeah, they didn't have they to tell, did they? They didn't have to tell. You see, this yeah. is really why sometimes mm. you should not blame. Suggested musical style. The tonal jazz of Melody Gardot helps within its period torch to define a woman whose heart is as black as night. Well, now, it isn't Luella Parsons, is it? <laughs> no, it isn't. Mr. Sir? Well, Dorothy's got it. Must be Miss Hedda Hopper. Miss Hedda Hopper is right. Yesterday, I had a grand surprise. I was snooping around hot at the trail of a story when suddenly I heard some fascinating music. Look at her sitting there a little way apart Her tortured hair Twisted Bullied into brittle curls Aping more flamboyant Glamoured girls Watch her Lean forward Smiling, straining to hear some note of discord in this atmosphere. A nuanced normal ears might well have missed, but ah, oh, not those of a lady. I choose a life whose livelihood depends upon the private sorrows of your friends. Still we show too clearly in these votive lights how much we fear the column that she writes. When in some dim, distant year, beyond publicity, beyond the tear, a cheerful dark deception's cause to flow. When she's near to death, that instant will she know how much despair and agonizing pain was caused by her salacious, vulgar brain. I wonder, or will she in the shadow of her purse? 
respect the priest of flirting with his nurse. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Pity her if you think you can. This haunted mediocre harridan Haunted by fear A puzzled sense of loss And all of the lies She nailed upon her cross Pity her if Well, look who's here, fellas. Just the gal that I've been looking for. Hi, Hello, Hello troubadours. Hello, Kay. Hedda, because you're a credit to yourself and to all your friends, it's a pleasure to graduate you from the College of Musical Knowledge, cum laude, COD, FOB, PDQ, and SOS. <laughs> a diploma after all these years? Yes, ma'am, Hedda. We think you're quite a gal. In fact, you have to get up awfully early to get a Hedda Hopper. Oh. And that's how your girlfriend got her new hat. Well, I'll be seeing you again soon, I hope, in Hedda Hopper's Hollywood. Mm -hmm.